All right, guys, final test, testing, testing, one, two, three. Yo, what is up? What's going on, guys? <clears throat> oh, voice cut. What's going on, guys? I'm Danny, and thank you for checking out my channel, Blu-ray Dan. Now, I have a really cool unboxing slash review for you guys today, and this time it's going to be for the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD combo pack of Finding Dory. Now, Finding Dory is released by Disney, and will be in stores on Tuesday, November 15th. Now, as always, guys, I'm just going to jump to the unboxing real quick, because I want to give you guys a nice close-up look at what the packaging looks like, and then I'm going to come back for the review. But before I do that, I just want to talk to you guys about something really, really quick. So, YouTube decided to change their uh, rules and regulations, and now, even if you're a subscriber of mine, you're not guaranteed to get notified when I post a video. And for the people that I've already spoken to and asked about this already, they have not received my notifications. They didn't even know I just put up three new videos. So one of the ways to fix this, uh, actually the only way that I personally know so far, is if you guys go down to my subscriber button, right next to it, there should be like a little bell symbol. And if you hit that, it's supposedly supposed to turn on the notifications for my channel. So that would help you guys see the videos that I post and that would be great because, I mean, what's the point of being a subscriber if you're not going to get notified for the videos? But alright guys, that's all I wanted to say. It's a pretty important thing, so if you guys could please go do that. Make sure every one of you guys watching, if you're an old subscriber or a new subscriber, please hit that bell button and yes. Now let's move on. Let's get to this unboxing right now. Alright guys, so here we go. Here we have the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD combo pack of Finding Dory. Now right off the bat, I mean this, you can see it's an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous slipcover. We get a really, really nice white border around the whole thing and I think because of that alone the colors pop even more of course right here up in the center we have the title of the movie Finding Dory underneath that we have Dory herself and to the left of her we have Marlin and Nemo and then you can see she's surrounded by all the different characters within the movie uh, there's the octopus the whales and we get uh, the uh, stingray right there and if you could look really closely you see the whole entire school of fish <laughs> right there on top of the stingray right here we have a sticker that says over two hours of bonus features and underneath that we have a quote that says the biggest animated movie of all time now guys if the coloring alone wasn't gorgeous on the slipcover, there are some details to it that really, really make it so much better. For starters, if you look right here, it has a holographic feel to it. If I turn it, the way they did it makes it look like rays of sunlight shining in the ocean. And you can see it right there. It looks really, really nice. And then on top of that, we get really, really nice embossing on all, pretty much all of the characters, including the title. And if you look even closer, it's actually just a little fish cutout right there. It's little details like that that I personally really appreciate. Now let's go ahead and let's turn to the spine really quick. Right up here at the top once again we have Disney Blu-ray and in the background is that octopus character. Right here in the center we have Disney Pixar's Finding Dory and then of course we have Dory herself right there at the bottom. Now if we go ahead and turn to the back you'll see there's another quote that says perfect maybe an understatement. We have Marlon, Nemo and Dory right there and below that we have the plot of the film and then we get a few more screenshots of the film right there. Now to the left of all of that we have a list of the bonus features which include an all new mini short marine life interviews. We have Piper the short film, animation and acting, the octopus that nearly broke Pixar, deep in the kelp, deleted scenes, and more. And then if you look right here, it also shows the all new mini short, which is the uh, Marine Life interviews, and then a clip of Piper the short film, which is really cute. Now let's go ahead and let's take the slipcover off. We're going to place it down right there. As you guys can see, we get the same artwork on the front, on the spine, and on the back itself. But if we open it up, you'll see we get some really, really cool stuff on the inside. One thing that I'm really enjoying that Disney's doing lately are the digital copies. They're making them really cool and unique. You see this digital copy is in the shape of Dory, and you'll see like with Captain America Civil War, they use like the shape of his shield and stuff like that. So this is really nice. We're going to place this down right there. We get the little insert about the Disney Movie Club. And now what I'm most happy about, guys, we actually get disc art. Of course, right here, this is the Blu-ray disc itself, and it's the same artwork as the slipcover and the front art. If we go ahead and turn this over, we have the Blu-ray bonus disc. Now, as you guys can tell, this is different artwork right here. This is a different screenshot from the film, and I really, really like it also. It's a little bit darker, but it's just, it's really nice. And then, of course, we get the DVD disc right there. But, I mean, I'm really really, really happy with that, guys. I'm always, always welcoming some inside artwork or discard. But all right, guys, let's go ahead and let's start packing this stuff up. Let's go ahead, let's close this case up, and let's get the slipcover back on right there. But all right, guys, in all honesty, I could not have been happier with this release. There's so much detail to it. I mean, from the holographic look that it has with the sunlight coming through the ocean, the tons of embossing on the characters, the title, everything, and not to mention the disc art that we don't usually get, I'm definitely satisfied with what we got. But other than that, guys, that is pretty much it for this unboxing. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed my unboxing for the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HE combo pack of Finding Dory. All right, guys, and we 
are back. I hope you enjoyed that unboxing. Now let's get on to the review portion of this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and read the plot on the back of the case for you. It says, from the Academy Award winning creators of Disney Pixar's Finding Nemo comes an epic undersea adventure filled with imagination, humor, and heart. When Dory, the forgetful blue tang, suddenly remembers she has a family who may be looking for her, she, Marlin, and Nemo take off on a life-changing quest to find them. With the help from Hank, a cantankerous octopus, Bailey, a beluga whale who's convinced his biological sonar skills are on the fritz, and Destiny, a nearsighted whale shark. Bring home the movie overflowing with unforgettable characters, dazzling animation, and gallons of bonus extras. Now guys, this movie is full with so many different emotions. I mean, there are times that you're happy, there are times that you're sad, it's heartwarming, and all of it adds up to this one big great movie, and you're really just rooting for Dory to get home and hoping that her parents are still there waiting for her. Now the character of Dory, of course, she's so hopeful, and it's funny, but it's also very sad that she has has short term memory loss because you know she really wants to be there she really wants to help and she wants to, to do things and she's just very limited to what she can do but with the help of all of her friends I mean you got the once again you got Nemo and his father Marlin and then you get the additional characters the brand new ones uh, the octopus for instance who's played by Ed O'Neill everybody's just trying to help her find her family and remember what's going on it really draws you in and I mean you're just you're rooting for the whole time and it almost feels like you're looking for a member of your own family now the only thing that I will say is I just I don't think that it's as good as Finding Nemo. I mean, listen, this movie was great. I, it, it's a lot of fun, but I just, there's something about Finding Nemo that just, it holds a classic, classic feel to it. Moving on, I mean, guys, this is such a visually stunning film. All the different kinds of underwater marine life, uh, the, the plants that are growing under there, and there's so many different colors. It really, really makes the movie pop, and it's just, it's like, just pleasure for your eyes, honestly. And the sound effects that they use for underwater and above water when they're on land, it was just so well done. And the best part about it is that they go over all this stuff in the special features, which we do actually get a lot of. For starters, we get an all new mini short, which is called the Marine Life Interviews. And it's pretty much interviews with the new characters and they're discussing and talking about Dory, how they met her, what they think about her, stuff like that. And I thought that was really cool. It's short, but it's, you know, it's just something nice that they added in. And then of course we get the Piper short film, and that's the one that they played before the movie started. And it's about a little bird whose mother's trying to teach her how to catch her own food, and when she goes to do it by the water, the waves hit her and she's like terrified, until she learns how to fend for herself pretty much. And I mean that right there guys, that was so beautifully done. Next we get animation and acting, and this goes over, well of course it goes over how they animated the characters, and what they put into it, and why they did certain things, why they made them look certain ways. And then of course the acting portion is we get the actors, we get to see the behind the scenes of them actually voicing the roles, which is, I love, I absolutely love seeing that. You get to see the people get into the characters, you get to see them play out the emotions that they're portraying in the character, and usually when they're doing voices and filming for movies like this, they're just, they're having a blast. And I really think that's awesome, and it's probably my favorite special feature out of everything on here. Next up, we get another really cool one, and it's called The Octopus That Nearly Broke Pixar. Now, this one is all about the character Hank the Octopus, and it goes over how difficult it was to animate this specific character, and it just shows that the way Octopus Octopus really move made it really really challenging to figure out how to do that and they because of that reason alone they didn't make it an octopus they made it I think they called it a septopus or something like that and they only gave it seven arms because if they were to do an eighth it would have been so much harder but it was cool to see that they had a hard time with it and it was a big challenge for them next up we have deep in the kelp and this one goes to show when they went to like all different aquariums and how they actually studied the certain kinds of fish that are in the movie and the octopus for instance I mean and they stood there and they filmed and studied and took pictures and observed and it was just an inspiration and motivation for them to create the characters and more so how to create them properly And after that of course we get some deleted scenes and then we get a few more things on there But that's basically it for the special features which actually means that that's pretty much it for this video now overall guys Like I said before this movie is a lot of fun It's definitely a good movie for both adults and children as a sequel Of course we got some of the great older characters that we got to love from Finding Nemo and we get some great new additions as well The movie's funny at times. It's sad at times. It's very heartwarming as well, and it's truly truly visually gorgeous. Now, once again, I don't think it's as good as Finding Nemo, but I do think it's a very good sequel, and I know you guys will definitely enjoy it, so I do recommend it to everybody. But alright, that is pretty much it, and of course, I have a couple questions for you guys. First up, I want to know, did you guys see Finding Dory, and what did you think of it? In comparison with Finding Nemo, what did you guys think? Did you like it better? Did you like it worse? Did you like it equally? What did you think of the new characters that were added in, and who's your favorite character overall? And finally, will you be picking this movie up on Blu-ray? But alright, guys, that's it for the questions. As always, if you can please do me a favor and hit that like button and give me a 
thumbs up. Please leave your comments in the comment box down below. As always, if you could share this video around to your family and friends, that would be greatly appreciated. And if you could please subscribe to my channel, that would be even more so appreciated. Once again, before I forget, guys, please hit that bell button to be notified when I post videos. And if you'd like to follow me outside of YouTube, you can follow me on Facebook on my Facebook group, Movie Craze. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, my official website, BluRayDan.com. Or you can check out my other YouTube channel, Oled Studios, for pranks and sketches. But all right, guys, I want to thank you so much. I really do appreciate you all for watching. As always, guys, I'm Danny, and this is the Blu-ray Dan channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.